All right, guys, so today we're going to take a look at the Opus Omega 2. So this was sent out to me by Opus. No, they're not paying me for this review or anything like that. Just reviewing this and giving you guys my honest opinion. Right off the bat, this is probably one of the most affordable power stations. This is the 2048 watt hour power station. Other companies in its class are going to be more expensive. I'm just going to let you guys know that right now. This is going to be your best budget pickup when it comes to power stations. Opus is kind of new to the power station line. You got your EcoFlow, you got your Blue Eddy, a few other ones, Jackery. They've been around for a long time, proven power stations. This is a new brand coming out and they're coming in at price points that's a little bit more affordable while also adding features that you're not gonna see on other power stations in the same class. So one of the cool things about Opus that made me excited to review their product was that they do a charity program. So 5% of their sales goes towards their Opus Help program, which is a charity initiative, and it's gonna help individuals that are in dire need of emergency power. So every time you purchase one of these, 5% of those sales are gonna to go to this program, which is pretty cool. I like that idea, especially with all of the terrible weather we've been having, fires in certain areas where people are losing power. Opus has stepped up and they're helping out these families. So if you guys are interested in the help program, go ahead and check out their website, it's pretty cool. So first off guys, this is coming in at around 54 pounds. I'm not gonna weigh this, but even on the box, it says like 53.5 pounds. As you guys can see, it's got a little bit of size to it, but expect it for its class of 2048 watt hours. Right, guys, so with your Opus Mega 2, you'll get some wires with it. You get your AC cord, of course. You get your Anderson cable to MC4. You also get Anderson cable to 12 volt. And then you get Anderson to Anderson cables. And then we got one more, which is the Anderson cable to a barrel style connector. You also get your user manual. And then if you guys are wondering about the warranty on it, Opus does provide you with a three year warranty. So a little less than the EcoFlow. EcoFlow I think is at five years. Opus is gonna provide you with three year of warranty on their power stations. And then it does say, Solar panels are up to one year, adapters and cables, two years. All right guys, so we'll take a look at the Opus Mega 2. Like I said earlier, this is a 2048 watt hour power station up to a 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now when you compare that to something like the Delta 2 Max, the Delta 2 Max is gonna provide you 2400 watts total and it's gonna surge up to 4,800 watts. You're gonna get more capacity out of the Mega 2 than the Delta 2. You got your power button right at the top here, and then you have your Bluetooth Wi-Fi button. Over on this side, you're gonna have an Anderson output. So you're not gonna hook up your solar panels to this. This is gonna be an Anderson 12 volt output, 30 amp. You got some USB-C outputs here. This is PD 100 watts. You got some USB-A, four of those. QC 3.0s. Each one of these sections does have its own on and off switch. As we pan over to the right, got another DC area here. This is gonna be your 12 volt. So this is gonna take your 12 volt port. And then you got two barrel plugs there. Also has its own on and off switch. You got your screen right in the middle. Go ahead and hit the power button here. And there is a look at the screen. Nice and bright, vibrant. And then right below that, we got four AC plugs. These are 20 amp max. And then over here, we have a 30 amp TT30 plug. And this is gonna be great for those people that have RVs and you wanna run this to your RV. I also wanna mention that your EcoFlow Delta 2 Max does not have this 30 amp TT30. So a huge advantage for the Opus Omega 2 for you RV users. So on the side of the Mega 2, you're gonna see some inputs here. This is where you're gonna plug in your Anderson cable for your solar panels up to 2100 watts max. And if you compare that to the EcoFlow Delta II Max, that only comes in at 1000 watts of solar input. Give you a better look. And then you also have your 16 amp max AC input. So this is where you're gonna plug it into the wall and then you have an overload protection button there just in case you overload it that's where you're going to reset it now if we look on the back nothing on the back just labeled opus mega 2 
And then on the other side, this is where you're going to add your extra batteries. So go ahead and pop this open. Now if you guys are looking to maybe expand this into a home backup system, so not just a portable power station, but you have a grid down situation at your house, power's out, and you want to expand this into something that can power your house. That's another huge plus when it comes to the Opus Omega 2. This can be expanded up to 10.24 kilowatt hours, where the Delta 2 Max can only be extended up to a little over 6 kilowatt hours. So you're going to get way more capacity with the Opus than you will with the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Being able to expand it up to 10.24 kilowatt hours is huge. Huge battery bank when it comes to the Opus. Also, you can see on this side, it's got venting. It's got a couple fans in there. And then on the other side, it's also got some venting. But like I said earlier, nothing on the back, so you could easily just push this up against the wall. And then all of your outputs are mainly on the front here. Take a look at the EcoFlow. You got your USB-A, USB-C right on the front. And then to access your AC, you have to flip this around and all your AC outputs are on the back, along with your DC and your barrel connectors. Now just to note, this is not the Delta II Max, this is just the Delta II. This is a little bit smaller. This is not a 2,048 watt hour power station, but as far as the design goes with the outlets and everything, everything is pretty much the same when it comes to the EcoFlow Delta II and the Delta II Max. The only difference is the size and weight. The life cycle on the power station battery is gonna be 3,500 plus life cycles, and it's gonna drop down to 80%. And it's going to be able to use 80% of that capacity. When it comes to the EcoFlow, that's right around 3,000 cycles. So you're going to get more cycles off of the Opus power station. This does have UPS backup up to 2,500 watts. So if you want to hook this up to some sensitive electronics, your computers, anything like that, and your power goes up, this will switch to the internal power and keep everything running seamlessly. All right, guys, so another feature that the Opus Mega 2 has, it does have an app. So right now I've got a heater plugged in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right now it says 646 watts. And then if you look on the app, right here it shows the output, 646 watts. It does have up here how many hours and minutes it has left. Right here it has a temperature for the Mega 2. So right now 73 degrees. Over here it does have the battery level which is at 98%, and if you look right here, 98%, so everything's accurate. It's going to have your input, your output, nothing is inputted in right now, and then it has solar, and then if you have backup power also. So pretty simple, easy to use application. This is on the iOS, and then we have a settings button up here in the corner. Click into that and it does have the ability to update its firmware which is cool because this is a pretty simple app like i said easy to use but if they ever want to update it they can make it a little bit more advanced which would be pretty nice now does the app work as good as ecoflow i'm gonna say no it's not as streamlined as ecoflow but one of the benefits when trying to connect the app to the power station was I had to talk to customer service and they were very, very helpful. So that is good to know that customer service is there and they're willing to help me. They ended up updating the app because I did have some issues with the phone I was using. And after that update, I was able to connect. So they're still doing updates, which is awesome. And customer service was very responsive and got back to me very quickly and resolved my problem. All right, guys, so I want to test out the inverter on the Opus Mega 2. Like I said earlier, 2,500 watt inverter. So right now I got two heaters hooked up, two uh, little desktop heaters. And then I also have the EcoFlow here, which I adjusted the AC input on this. It's at 675, 678, so I could get the Opus as close to 2500 as possible. So right now we're at about 24, 75, 80, kind of bouncing in there. And I started my timer on my clock here. I must let this run for a while to see 
if it does any error codes, if it turns off, anything like that. But it should be able to power this until the battery goes dead. Now we're not gonna run this until the battery goes dead, but I just wanna run this for a little while just to make sure there's no overheating issues or no error codes that get thrown out. So let's go ahead and run this and I'll get back with you guys. All right guys, so as you can see, we are approaching almost 30 minutes that I've been running the Opus Mega 2. Go ahead and zoom up still. Averaging about 2465, so 2465 watts. It goes ahead and jumps around a little bit. But we've been running that now for almost 30 minutes. Like I said, I got two of the space heaters and I got the EcoFlow Delta charging off of it. And we have not had any issues with it. No errors, no overheating problems. The fans are kicked on on the Opus. And just so you guys see, so all of the air is coming out of this side and it's blowing out a good amount of air out of this side. So a lot of good ventilation is coming out of this Opus. So if you do have this pointing towards you, you will feel a little bit of hot air coming off of this. And then if we go ahead, and I got a sound meter on here on my phone, nothing too crazy. But we'll go ahead and see what this reads at. I'm going to say right about 60 dBs, and that's about two feet away from the power station. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and test the max on this. Still got the heaters hooked up, the delta, and we're at... 2472 I'm gonna crank this up the Delta to pull a hundred more watts and we'll see if this ends up showing an error all right so we're at 2570 2560 2570 looks like it's holding for right now so 2567 watts We'll see how long this will run for. We're only at 9% of battery life. And it just aired out. So that might have been maybe even less than a minute. So we got E001. So we're a little over 2,500 watts. Like I said, the inverter on this is 2,500 watts. So we're a little bit over that by about 70 watts and we got the e001 in less than a minute all right guys so i got both of the devices here charging the ecoflow and the mega 2 as you guys can see i'm pulling in about 14 1500 watts on this it says 38 percent charged over here ecoflow is pulling in 770 watts 88 percent charge what I don't like about the Opus, and maybe they can do an update on the firmware for this, is the EcoFlow shows you how many minutes it has left to, for it to be fully charged. So 21 minutes is left. Over here, Opus does not show you how long it takes for this to be fully charged. And I find this to come in pretty handy before you go out on trips and you got to charge your portable devices and stuff so you guys can see how long it's going to take to charge it to 100%. So even when you look at the app here, the Opus app, it doesn't show you. It shows you the input, 1500 watts, and it does show up here, four days and three hours, which I'm sure that's not how long it takes for it to charge to 100%. So there's nowhere on there that it shows. There's nowhere on the display here that shows how long it's going to take to get to 100% but on the EcoFlow it does show here recharging time 18 minutes so maybe if Opus could update the firmware to add that feature I think that would be pretty cool all right guys so there you go rundown of the Mega 2 by Opus let me know what you guys think in the comment section below best bang for your buck when it comes to portable power stations for the price per watt hour 
and features. A lot of power stations in this category don't even provide you with the TT30 RV plug. So it's really nice that Opus has incorporated that into their Mega 2 power stations. They got some power stations that are bigger, some that are smaller, depending on what you're looking for. They've got a bunch of different models. So you're gonna wanna check them out. I'll make sure I put some links in the description box below. And if you use those links, you get some of the best deals. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Love to hear what you guys got to say. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later.